So where does it come from? Basically, we know that people who have end-stage renal disease, kidney failure, uh, have to reduce solutes. Their kidney's not working. So whether that's sodium and potassium or whether that's nitrogen, the kidneys just simply aren't working. So you have to reduce you know, salt intake and nitrogen intake. The question then becomes, does protein cause it? And that has been pretty clearly shown not to be the case. In fact, the, Di the National Academy of Sciences, when they were putting together the DRI, specifically concluded that low protein diets actually are a bigger risk to kidney failure than high protein diets, okay? So we're the opposite. Now we get into the situation where somebody has renal problems. Is it stage one, they have low re kidney function, stage two, stage three, stage four is failure, stage five failure. Um, that's an ongoing debate. Uh, we know that when you go from a low protein diet to a higher protein diet, the kidney actually becomes more efficient. You will clear the nitrogen out of the blood quicker on a high protein diet than you do on a low protein diet. The glomerular filtration rate actually goes up. So in a kidney situation, let's say you have stage two and you're, you've dropped your filtration rate down into 60, 70 range or something. Now, what should you do? Basically, if you lower your protein level, the kidney will shrink in size and your GFR will go down. So most people now who really are paying attention don't even consider lowering protein till at least stage three and maybe stage four. So there've been multiple reviews in the last 10 years, at least four I can think of that have specifically looked at this question and resoundingly said protein does not cause kidney damage.